season's been pretty good for me, up and down. I'll have uh, I'll have a lot of wins and then crash crash out a few times. I made some dumb mistakes quite a few times that I've learned for, that now I know for next season I shouldn't do. It's gone really good with race wins and sweeping tonight, and it's also had its lows where I've been hurt and had bad finishes. So it's definitely been a big learning curve this year, and hopefully we can carry that into next year. Hopefully and and finish out strong. Yeah, coming into the series, you know, uh, I prepared a lot this year, you know, a lot more than I did last year. I felt really good on the bike with a new team, Team Babbitt, Smart Energy, Amzol, Kawasaki, and felt ready coming into the series, you know. I felt like I uh, had done what I needed to to prepare. Winning some and losing some, you know, hitting the ground harder than I would like to, but, you know, we're racing dirt bikes, you know, we can't ever predict what's gonna happen. So, uh, been going for it this year, you know, really inconsistent, which isn't like me, but, uh, here the past couple weekends cleaned it up you know got myself back in the hunt and I've been pumped so far on my season I feel like I've been one of the guys to beat all year long I've had the most overall wins had I think seven main event wins there's obviously low parts of it but I think I've salvaged pretty well um, for how bad nights have gone I've returned in the next moto and uh, been able to come out with a lot of wins been on the box a lot this season and I've uh, been struggling to get knock the wins down but uh, been pretty consistent so far um, struggled here a little bit towards the end with controversy with other riders and um, just kind of struggling with that a little bit right now but uh, you know that's arena cross for you I guess and uh, it's part of playing the game and Wilkes Barry I uh, hadn't won a race at all up until that one for some reason I was consistent and running up front getting seconds thirds and all but finally that day I just I won my heat I won the head-to-head -head, and then I won the first main and that one felt good to finally get a win. I've been having fun all year. It's just, uh, you know, obviously when you're winning, you're having a little bit more fun and it makes it worth the trip. It makes it worth the while and all the training that goes into it. And, uh, you know, Tampa was really good. Uh, Nashville was really good. Started off Cincinnati with the overall win. So, um, you know, there's been a lot of highs in winning. So that's, you know, what makes it really fun. It, it was cool to win, obviously, back to back in Mississippi doing Friday and Saturday night. I think. That was probably one of the, the highest parts of the year so far is being able to do that and I was the only one to do it this year so that was obviously really cool. After Arena Cross I start training outdoors right away next week and uh, I'm going to race the Canadian Nationals. It's a good series up there and um, a lot more Americans are starting to do it. This year is going to be tough because you have me, I was the champion in 2012, Metcalf the champion in 2013, Fossiati who's won a bunch of championships there and then uh, Alessi too. Postseason, uh, I'm not quite sure yet. I have to go to Canada, do some riding schools. I usually end up doing just riding schools during the off season, so it um, keeps me busy and it keeps me riding, so that's just my plan for the off season right now. No plan so much in the off season, just kind of take a break. Uh, I, in the fall, I go to Australia and Germany throughout the winter and then I ran across, so it's a pretty full season. And, uh, you know, probably just take a couple months off and recoup and uh, get back at it and uh, probably around August or so. As of now for um, the summer, plan on just doing my normal thing. The last two years I've trained kids all summer long. I got a good group of kids that I work with and I feel like they're my kids. So it's a deal where um, I've always planned to train them during the summer. But then I actually do have a couple 450 Husqvarna's coming to my house getting shipped there on Monday. So it'll be a deal, deal where just depending on how I feel, I, I got a couple plans. I've always said if I if I win this championship, I want to buy a Husqvarna two-stroke and maybe show up to my hometown race in Redbud and um, hometown uh, state, sorry, at, and race Redbud. I think that would be huge for um, the media side of it, and you know what I mean. It'll be cool to have a two-stroke out there.